Welcome to episode 5 of my Classic WoW Gold Grinding Adventure. We are level 23. We have a brand new amazing weapon with fiery weapon on it. We are ready to kill. We just spent last episode in a cave in the wetlands. Just musky and, and just awful. And we were killing spiders and stealing their venom sacks. But today, we're not going to be doing that. And although we you know, hit over 200 gold in that last episode. We're going to try to expand that to a much higher number by trying our luck at farming the Crimson Whelpling Pet. So we are still in the wetlands. We are out here by the green belt, and we're going to be killing these Red Whelplings. We're going to be killing the Flame Snorting Whelps. We're going to be killing... There's one other type of whelp. I can't remember the name. Uh, but we're going to be staying here for quite a few levels uh, and killing them. So why are we going for this grind? Well, for one, I picked up skinning in anticipation for this grind in particular. I knew that I would want to go for probably all the whelplings, which means skinning was going to come in handy. Uh, we're going to make a bunch of gold by skinning these. Second, a red, well, a crimson whelpling pet on white mane is going for over 500 gold. So if we can get one in the next couple of levels, we're going to take our little stack of cash from 200 gold uh, to something like 700 gold, which I can't pass up on that opportunity. I love RNG farms like this. But the best part is the drop rate is anywhere between 1 and 200 and 1 and maybe 600, depending on which whelp you're killing. I plan on staying here for more than 600 kills, so there is a solid chance that I will be rewarded for my efforts with a pet, and worst case scenario, there are a few drops that are just going to sell for a lot, and I'm going to be getting the skins along the way. So I'm excited. We're going to be here for quite a few levels, uh, but the excitement of getting a red or a crimson whelpling is going to uh, really make this grind feel amazing. This kill is going to put us over to level 24. We're not going to go back yet. Uh, I haven't even checked what I get at 24, but uh, the kills are going super smoothly right now, so I don't really want to waste the time to go back. I'll probably stay here uh, till 26, then go learn some skills. Then I might even be back for a couple more levels. So as far as the gold here for this level, not super great. So... Uh, we're looking at maybe 10 gold worth of things in my inventory between the whelp scales and the leathers. Um, we did get a couple of greens. And then the small flame sacks or something else that are going to sell. Uh, but uh, other than that, you know, we've got like this large green sack. It's probably going to sell for a little under a gold. So that sort of stuff's going to add up, but probably about 10 gold for that level. But that is expected. So without skinning, it would have been probably even closer to 5 gold. Uh, not very good at all. But we are trying to level out how much money we're making with skinning. Uh, we've had some competition here. So I'm not skinning anyone else's. Uh, only skinning what I kill. But I'm still feeling very hopeful. So let's take a look here. We have killed... Uh, 65 Crimson Whelps, 30 Flame Snorting Whelps, uh, let's see, a couple Lost Whelps. So the Lost Whelps actually do not drop the uh, pet, at least according to Wowhead, so I'm avoiding them. And we've killed 48 Red Whelps, so we are still way under what drop rate would be. We're just going to keep on killing, and hopefully in the next couple of levels, we'll be able to snag a pet. We are going to hit... 25 with this kill of this whelp so far no pet obviously i would have checked in to show you when i get the pet drop uh, but i will here as i level so far so good on the drops i probably will have to go back to town before i'm able to hit 26 but that's okay but we are getting uh, a lot of whelp skills here they're actually filling up the inventory uh, quite a bit since they only stack to five we've got quite a bit of leather here as well too and then uh, we're getting a decent amount of flame sacks, which will sell for a little bit. So this will all add up to a decent amount of gold, but really not what we're looking for. We are trying desperately to get this uh, pet, but the nice thing is here, we are track keeping track of all of our kills. We are at 164 Crimson Whelps. 
Um, according to WoW, head the drop rate is probably around 1 in 300. So we have a bit more to go there. Uh, flaming, uh, the flame snorting whelp, I think 1 in 200 according to WoWhead. We've killed 88. Maybe the red whelp has a much uh, smaller drop rate according to WoWhead. Maybe these drop rates aren't correct. Um, so I've been avoiding them a little bit. They're also a little lower level. Uh, so as far as the level grind goes, better to kill the other ones. Um, the levels have been coming pretty darn fast. The grind's been really enjoyable. But uh, hoping here, the next time I check in, it'll be with a pet. We have come back to town. I was unfortunately unable to hit 26 before getting a full inventory, which I think I sort of knew when I saw how much stuff was in my inventory. And mainly because of these red whelp scales, they uh, stack only in five, and I'm getting quite a lot of them, so that's filling up my inventory. It's really the skins. But that is okay, because that's some extra money for us. We're going to sell all of this. We've gotten a really decent amount of green drops as well, too, there. Um, we've gotten a lot of these small flame sacks, which is great. I think we're going to stay here as long as we can. Uh, unless we had a pet early, which I really hope for, uh, but I'm, I'm keeping my mind open, and I'm going to stick out the grind until I can get one. We just hit level 26, which is pretty exciting. Uh, unfortunately, the not exciting part is we are petless so far. I missed about 30 kills on the farm log just from like logging in and out. So if we take a look here, uh, we see 218 crimson whelps. 116 flame snorting whelps, and then uh, 82 red whelps. So we have killed quite a few of them. Um, we've gotten a good amount of flame sacks, which sell pretty good. But we are going to be staying here until we are level 28. I'm going to go back when my inventory is full only. I don't. I looked it up. I don't think there's anything crazy at 26 that I need to go get. So we are going to be here till 28, and hopefully in that time we will be seeing ourselves a pet. I was paying absolutely zero attention, and I was able to hit 27. We are still petless, uh, unfortunately. But we are making good gold on the flame sacks. They're going for uh, one to two gold each. And then we're making some other gold along the way as well, too. But we've got one more level here that I'm going to stay. And getting the pet is really going to be the make or break for this spot. Um, again, I probably missed a few more kills here, uh, but we're, we're, you know, we're at a pretty good amount of kills. So we are within a decent percentage to actually get the pet, uh, but we, we may not, we may not, but, uh, we will find out in this last level we're grinding here. With this kill, we are finally level 28. We have killed a lot of whelps in these five levels we've spent here. And unfortunately, we did not get a pet during this time. So our whole purpose for coming here, uh, unfortunately, it did not pay off. We are in luck that the flame sacks actually sell for a decent amount. Uh, we are in luck that we came here with skinning. Well, not in luck. Our, our planning is paid off that we came here with skinning. So we're still going to make a decent amount of gold, but it's not going to be anywhere uh, near what we were hoping to make. Let's open up this farm log. Again, we missed quite a few. Uh, we did get an honorable kill here. Uh, we got six gold in cash about. Then uh, we killed 480 crimson whelps, getting quite a few flame sacks here. 22 flame sacks. Actually, not you know, not, not too many flame sacks, really. Uh, but we did get a lot of uh, greens. We didn't receive any blues. 237 uh, flame snorting whelps. Both of these are above uh, the wow head drop rate. And then we've got the red whelp, where this is below the uh, drop rate. So you can't really expect too much there. Uh, but we did get quite a few uh, flame sacks overall. We're missing a few kills from here. We're probably missing upwards of 50 to 100 kills on here, perhaps. Uh, so we did kill a little bit more than that over these levels. But it is just a shame here uh, that we did not get a pet. However, we do have many more amazing grind spots to look forward to. And there's going to be more pet grinds coming up. Uh, so we, we can still have hope that something wonderful will happen for us. For now, let us go sell uh, all of this great stuff. 
and we will uh, see how much money we've made, and I'll also upgrade my gear. I've been here for quite a while, so I, I do need some upgrades. Everything has sold. We are now at 357 gold. We've bought a couple of upgrades, so we made a little bit even more than that. We probably made about 150 gold, uh, actually, in the Crimson Whelpling spot. We unfortunately, again, did not get a pet, which is fine. Some servers, pets are only going for like 20 to 50 uh, gold anyway. So it'd be a little crazy to get my 500 gold. And uh, not not every server would be able to replicate those sort of uh, those sort of prices. So it's a good thing that you were able to see how much money I was able to make just from the leather and the, uh, the actual sacks that I was getting from the whelps. So that concludes our new spot something else coming up next is going to be even more exciting than the uh the whelps that we just got we're now breaking into new territory for me as well too we're going to be trying some spots that i have not been to before so i don't actually know uh what the results are going to actually look like i'm here now with a, a new boe blue uh since i bought a blue weapon i pretty much always have to keep buying a rare weapon in order to keep up with the with the solid dps that i've been getting plus i think a weapon uh, is it's a you know it's a fun way to spend my gold. I might not get one every single episode depending on how many levels I get, uh, but I think it's a good thing to do. This is my first axe, which means we need to go ahead and hit a higher axe skill. I'm gonna kill a couple of these rats here. Uh, they spawn really really quickly. I'm gonna kill a couple of these rats, and then I'm going to go ahead and go to our new spot. And uh, I guess a hint for our new spot is that I'm going to be killing uh, a, a a creature type, a, a mob type that uh, we have not killed yet before. And I'm going to be doing it in Kalimdor. So that is your clue. It is going to be a new type of creature that we have not killed before, uh, aka it's not going to be skinnable. And uh, it's going to be something in Kalimdor. I think we're going to be able to make a lot of money there. Uh, it's not really going to be an RNG one either, so if that helps you out as well. Uh, we might only get a level or two there. This is somewhere that I've never been before, but uh, we'll have to see when that episode comes. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. We are at 357 gold without getting a Crimson Whelpling pet. Uh, so for a level 28, we are approaching 400 gold. We are not doing too badly. I, I think it's a given that we're going to have enough money for our epic mount come 60. But the question really is, how much money will we have at 60? Uh, my goal is at least 2k, but as we go on, I think that's going to grow uh, even further than that. So I am in here killing, and I will see you in the next episode.